I will. We're getting on with the coal yard. Um, we've got the coal trucks there, haven't we? Okay. And we've got the Coleman's house. And oh, we've got some flowers in the garden. He's got his little coal office there. People come and they'll pay, won't they? For the coal, which will be in bags, which we, he hasn't got yet. Well, he's got them, but they're somewhere else. And uh, the coal staves, is that what they call them? The little thingies where they put the coal before they shovel it into bags, etc. etc. And we've got the uh, signal box there. So he's a kind of part time Coleman, part time signalman. What an interesting situation. <laughs> oh, so I make it up as I go along, don't I? And uh, there happens to be a um, uh, British Rail lorry in the uh, in the coal yard. I reckon that's just going to go and get coal from the uh, for the station. Uh, something a bit odd there. Are we <laughs> that's it. I thought my eyes were going fuzzy there. So we've got to finish this off yet, okay? But as you can see, basically, we've got a line here, okay? On the other side of the line, we've got the canal, okay? We've got the canal there with the barges, perhaps, narrowboats, not barges, narrowboats. Unloading, loading, coal arriving in trucks, loading, unloading, the old stone fence, the coal office, and the little bungalow, what mate he lives in. And what we're going to do now is we're going to concentrate on building that. All right, little culture. So, follow me downstairs and we'll start building it. Right, uh, you remember the other day, I'll just switch your lights on. Uh, that, didn't make, that didn't make any difference, did it? Right. Do you remember the other day when we were looking uh, at the um, uh, the large station? Um, I think it was in the uh, in the last video that I did. I said that there would be quite a bit of leftover card of different sort of shapes, and I mean it's just a bit of it, yeah. That's just a bit of it. That's that's what I've collected uh, up. By um, keeping the offcuts from the uh, from the building from the uh, large station, I've managed to uh, use some up. Okay, so I'm just starting building uh, the arches that go along the back. I'll show you what how they do, but that was an odd bit, yeah. That was an odd bit of card that we had. What's another one? Uh, another one just managed to slip that on there. And another one just managed to slip two on there. Okay. They are the uh, parapets for the uh, for the wall that's going to go behind the large building. But also, I said that we we're going to build the um, coal office. All right. And I have started on the coal office. The coal office is here. All right. Uh, it was two sheets from scale scenes. It was free. And uh, basically, there were three pages on the uh, computer on the um, 
yeah, on the, on, on the computer of instructions. Okay, so uh, what I've done is uh, I've cut out, stuck on to the odd sheets, all right, that um, uh, we kept from the last station, so as not to uh, uh, to waste anything. I've used uh, those and cut out and stuck on the uh, the different bits and pieces that we're going to need. Okay. One of the reasons why I like doing this is because um, even though oh, you probably noticed something, <laughs> even though the large station isn't finished, um, I, I've actually started on the, the parapet. The, the arch walls okay it's going to go behind it and uh, in, a, in a couple of days I'll be starting on the uh, actual platforms as well as a, um, you'll realise that um, so I like to have a couple of things going at the same time because uh, when you stick stuff onto cars like I've done with the uh, bits I've just shown you uh, they need time to dry okay and uh, it, unless you can actually go on to the next step in the build or whatever it is, you need something to, well I do anyway, you need something to occupy yourself, okay. And uh, this is uh, one, one of them, isn't it? The uh, well, Weybridge Come Coal Office thing. Right, so what, as I said to you before, what I've done is I've actually cut out bits. All right. Uh, 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 don't actually recommend <laughs> that you do this, uh, that you cut them out, okay? Um, that was uh, the uh, coal staves, wasn't it? So we'll, you'll have to do the Weybridge base, roof tiles, ridge tiles, that kind of stuff. We haven't, I haven't cut those out yet. Okay? But what I have cut out is the, the windows the uh, bits and pieces, the, where the door goes, the cover layers basically, okay. I've cut out the windows, you can probably see, alright, and I've stuck those onto a piece of plastic, uh, see-through plastic obviously. <laughs> um, right, so I'll, I'll show you where they go. Now, as I said, I wouldn't recommend uh, that uh, you uh, do what I've done and cut everything out, okay? Uh, because there are a lot of a lot of bits, a lot of small bits which uh, you can easily lose, like uh, or forget. Basically, what I do is I forget what they are, okay? Now that there, I put it on my heart. <laughs> Yeah, I've just dropped it again. Yeah. Put it on my finger. Look. All right. Now, if this was your first model, and you cut that out, you'd probably uh, forget what it was. But in actual fact, it is. Um, that is the window ledge. Okay, window sills. I know that because I've built quite a few of them. So that little piece of square is the chimney base okay it goes on top of the chimney before you put the pot on all right that some of them have got uh, well, there you go some of them have got what they are written on them haven't they uh, external chimney and that there is the interior rear and it says glue the internal chimney here, so we'll glue the internal chimney wherever that is. That's the uh, here we go. That's the external chimney. Okay, so external rear. We've got the external chimney there, so we're going to have to. Uh, or oh, it could even be like that, couldn't it? Okay, <clears throat> we'll cover this with uh, the chimney bit wherever that is. Let's see where the chimney bit is, yeah. Alright. And then oh there it is. There you go. 
that's the chimney bit. Right, so that gets to be glued to that and wrapped around it and then stuck on one of the inside sheets. So basically, once you've done one of these, it's fairly straightforward to, to do something a little bit more complicated. And I would say this is probably one of the less complicated builds. It's very small, it's very quick, and uh, it does cover most of the things that you're going to find in the larger builds. Okay, it's got a windows. It's got windows. It's got doors. It's got a roof with the uh, slates on it. Okay, it's got the fireplace. It's got the chimneys. It's got. Uh, the double um, uh, thickness uh, walls, like most of the builds that I've come across so far, and I've done most of his builds, most of them have that uh, included. So if you want to uh, learn how to do, uh, once you've done this, uh, you can do all of them basically. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start gluing up okay these things and basically it's a case of you know i mean this is the window one here because it's got the window cut out in it as you can see that will fit over the front of that and be glued okay and then these little window flaps will be oh where are we you can't see it can you sorry it's up uh, it's up that way isn't it okay um that's the top of the window there so it will be that way, all right. The window flaps will be folded over and glued to the back. We then have another wall, which is the inside wall, okay, which goes up against that. Uh, I think it's probably, it's this one, isn't it? Okay, with the hole in it, all right. So that's the internal wall. So we put the window on, we put the window ledge on, okay, which I always forget, but you put the window ledge on. You stick the window behind and then you stick this bit onto the back of that bit to form a kind of like a sandwich All right. and the windows between the two bits of uh, two mil card so you've got four mil thick wall with the window in between and that's basically the uh, the essence of uh, all the builds in in the uh, in the range Right, so I'll carry on with that and I'll get back to you once I've done a little bit more, okay? That will take you on a little bit further. What have we done? Right, the window. So we've got the uh, two bits of uh, two mil, okay? Internal and external. They've been glued together, okay. Uh, not forgetting to put in the before you glue windowsill and of course the window, which is sandwiched between the two. So that's uh, I can't remember which wall that is, that's the wall with the window in it, <laughs> right. Uh, the next is the wall with the door in it, which we've got here. In this particular instance, the door is sandwiched between, okay, the two layers. So we have a 2mm thick layer on the outside with the brick, and a 1mm thick, as medium, internal wall. Right, what you have to do with the internal wall, so if you notice, it's a wee bit wider. Okay? It's a wee bit wider than the outside wall. And you have to glue around the outside edges of the internal wall this black piece of uh, cover, strip, so that when the thing is put together that looks like a gutter 
Okay, downpipe. Off the gutter. I'll just hold that. Uh, where are we? <laughs> I know it's not right, it's upside down, isn't it? But I'm going to hold that up to it. And you can see how it actually looks in the end, okay? That's how it looks. Right, so it's a, a downpipe. The important thing about the downpipe is that it goes up the right way. You'll notice that on the brick layer, there's a black line here and a black line down here. And on this piece of paper, which is wrapped around the inside wall, there is also a line, very faint, you can see it, just there, and another one down the bottom, just there. And they've got to line up with the two black lines you've got there, okay? Make sure they're up the right way. Uh, up the right way with the door, of course, because the door is uh, at the bottom. Right, so that's as far as I've got there, the two walls. I've got the external chimney, okay, which is a piece of uh, two mil card stuck onto the brick paper. Fold these around and glue them at the bottom. Don't fold these and glue them yet, okay? Leave those. They will fit onto the outside wall there okay like that oops I can't see again all right they'll fit like that glue onto there that's the external chimney and these will uh, be glued uh, folded and glued around the internal chimney which is this one here Okay, so that's a piece of paper stuck onto the card. Got to fold that around yet, yeah, this end piece. Fold it around, glue it down. Glue that onto here. Okay, that's the step. And then that uh, piece of uh, bit paper that's got to be folded and glued yet yeah, goes around the outside of that. Alright, because this will come up through the roof. So that's the next step, and uh, I'll join you after I've done it. <laughs>